Hello everyone and welcome to the Scripted Grammar lecture course. Uh, this lecture course, as you will know by now, is being delivered uh, in pre-recorded lectures via my website, which you have probably already found. Um, so there's just a few things that I need to explain uh, in an introductory talk, which I'll do now, so that we know what's going on. Okay, so the first thing that I just want to make clear is that the most of these lectures were recorded last year, uh, which uh, makes things very easy for me that I can just play the same lectures again. Um, but uh, there may be in one or two lectures occasional references to the situation last year where we weren't sure whether it would be possible to go back at some point in the semester. I, I don't think that there are many such references, but if there are, please just ignore them. Um, there are a number of advantages to doing it in this way. Uh, first of all, because the lectures are recorded, you can go back and listen as many times as you want. Uh, you can listen when you want. Um, this is particularly important because usually in this class there are some people whose uh, ability to understand English the first time they hear things is not uh, as strong as it could be, which makes it much better for you that you can go back and you can listen a few times so that you understand. Of course, if you don't understand anything, then you should feel free to get in touch with me uh, via email and ask any questions you would like to ask. You can arrange for video conferences if you like. So what's, what I want to do is we'll, we'll do it like this. The whole course is there on the website. The only things which are not there are the revision classes and the tests. If you go onto the website and you open the syllabus, you will see that uh, there are revision classes uh, after the first five lectures and then after another few lectures. Um, and these revision classes will be held as also as YouTube uh, broadcasts, but as live broadcasts. OK, and the idea is that uh, everybody is there in attendance and everybody can then ask questions live about anything that you don't understand. So we'll go through everything that was in the first few lectures and you'll have the chance to ask me questions. OK, now, because uh, I'm allowing you to view the videos when you want and you are therefore not required to attend uh, at a particular class time every week, I will insist that everybody should be present for those live revision lectures, okay? If you are not present for those live revision lectures, you will have to have a very good excuse or you will not pass the course, okay? There are only two of them, um, so please make sure that you will be available, okay? Uh, these are at the moment scheduled to be in weeks seven and 14. Um, although, yes, we'll see how we go. I will put the, the dates, uh, I must work out the exact dates, and I'll put the dates on, uh, on the website um, as soon as I can, so that you can be sure that you will be available. The other things you are required to do, there are two tests. Um, these will be short tests, these will be done obviously online, and uh, it isn't so much a case of um, you have to pass the test. It's more a case of you have to do the test. Um, everybody will be required to do the test. If you don't do the test, again, you, you won't be allowed to take the final test. OK, when I say it's not so much a case that you have to pass, what I what I don't mean is um, you, you can't simply log in, give your name and then log out. You'll have to do the test properly. Otherwise, I should tell you to do it again. Um, but what I'm more interested in is discovering from these tests what you have learned and what you still have problems with. Um, and I'm not necessarily going to ask people to resit the test if they get a, a lower mark. However, I will ask you to do it again if I think you haven't done it properly. OK. And these tests will appear uh, in a few weeks 
uh, in the appropriate place in the in the course on the website. Okay, all instructions will be given. At the end of the course, there will be uh, a, a bigger test um, again online, <clears throat> which will decide your final mark. Um, and obviously will include stuff from the whole course. Okay. So basically what we're going to do, you've got the lectures there. You can watch them. If, if you like uh, binge watching, you can watch all of them at once. Probably you won't want to do that. You, you'll see that as the course moves on, there are more uh, lectures which are just um, sound and with no pictures of me because I, I realized after some months last summer, last year, uh, that actually there was not much need for pictures of me. Um, so you, you, you can listen to them to help you get to sleep, whatever. Uh, might be quite, quite effective. Uh, you can listen when you want, uh, as I said. However, every week um, at the class time, so at five o'clock, I shall be at my computer and ready to answer any questions or to speak to anybody who wants to speak to me. Okay, so I'll be here ready to do anything that's necessary for this class, um, but you, you don't have to be in attendance, but if you want to, you can get in touch with me. Okay, um, and probably I'll, I'll sit, I'll make sure that I'm available from say 5 to 5.45. If nobody gets in touch by 5.45, I'll, I'll assume that, that nobody's going to. Um, but but I'll, I'll be here, okay? So I'm not just uh, putting up this course and then disappearing. So please, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, anything that's not clear, please do get in touch. Uh, I will be sitting here waiting for you to do so, okay? I think most of the things that I need to say about the subject of descriptive grammar are included in the first lecture, which comes straight after this one. Uh, I'll just point out that the lectures are generally divided into theory parts and then practical parts where I go through the sets of questions which are also provided on the website next to each lecture. Um, so you should listen to the theory first, then you should try to do the questions yourselves, try to do the exercises yourselves, and then go through the explanation of the exercises. Of course, if you choose not to try to do them yourselves, that's up to you. I can't monitor what you're doing. Um, but obviously it's a, it's a little bit pointless if you just watch me giving the answers. Uh, but, but it depends. So if, if it's you find something very difficult, then you can just uh, go through the answers with me. Okay, well, the other thing I need to say about descriptive grammar generally is that this is a, a fairly tricky course. Sometimes people do have problems with it, especially if your practical English is not fantastic. Um, so you will need to learn um, fairly systematically. Um, and it's very important that you, you do things in the right order and that you don't skip things which you think are perhaps a little too difficult, simply because the way descriptive grammar works is that we, we start with basic stuff, um, which is not necessarily easy, but it's the basis of the subject. And then, in fact, the, the, the course gets easier as we go along. The second half is easier. Uh, but it does rely on your knowing the stuff from the first half. Okay, so you must uh, you must learn it, and uh, and then you can build it. And then it becomes quite quite simple. The the second half of the course is quite simple if you've understood the first half. Okay. Okay, I think that's really all I need to say by way of introduction. So we know what we're doing, right? You need to listen to the lectures. You need to look at the exercises then you can look at my explanation of the answers to the exercises. If there's anything that's not clear, anything that you think I've got wrong, it's quite possible that there are some mistakes, um, get in touch with me, write to me, okay? Um, please write to me in English, if at all possible. And we'll go through and then we'll, uh, I, I'll put up the test and I'll put up the date for a live meeting and as I said that that will be absolute compulsory attendance since uh, I'm not making you attend every week I, I will absolutely insist that everybody attends for the live revision classes okay and we'll go through the same thing again in the second half of the course um, another test another revision class 
and then there will be the final test exam as, as whatever we want to call it. Okay. Okay, it's a terrible shame that uh, I don't get to meet you, uh, especially as your groups are groups which won't have any other classes with me and I won't get another chance to meet you uh, on any other courses. Um, and it's, it's very strange to be teaching people who are just names and uh, with no faces. But that's the situation that we have, uh, hopefully only for this semester. Um, okay, so I wait for any, any questions that you have, any problems that you have. Uh, please, please get in touch by email. And um, otherwise, good luck with the course. And I hope that maybe some of you will enjoy it. I know that some people find lectures um, and grammar lectures in particular uh, can be a little boring. Um, I've tried to make them quite short or put them in short chunks so that you don't fall asleep too much. Um, yeah, if you do fall asleep, you just go back and, and watch it again. Okay. Okay, so uh, I look forward to working with you. I'm afraid uh, that we're not going to get to meet, um, but I hope you can still learn something from this course. Okay, that's it for now. So thank you and, uh, and goodbye.